our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. I am just the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven, and I am God's dirt. It's coming. It's coming. And all I can do is warn you. I have prayed, and I have prayed, and prayed, and prayed. I prayed so hard over what I saw coming. I wept. I wept bitterly, like when my mother passed away. <clears throat> I had tears flowing like a rain. My shirt was soppy wet with tears, and I had a puddle of tears in my lap. But as it is written, it will be done. Pain, death, destruction on a global scale. The global economy is about to fall off a cliff and straight into the abyss. But this will hit America especially hard. As from here on, everything goes into hyperdrive and everything starts speeding up. Everything bad speeds up. Total economic collapse and then everything closes and everything is out of business. Everything closes, even hospitals, doctor's offices, fire stations, police departments, they'll all close. Nothing works, not even your water will run in your home, no power, nothing. And, and if you have a problem, you will find that you are on your own and there is no one to help you. Not many people will die from heat exposure as there will be no power. Now if money is worthless, how can the power companies stay in business and supply power? Are you not shocked how fast food has gone up in the past year? Well hang on, that too is about to go into hyperdrive and the cost of food will shock everyone, even the rich. Food prices will go out of sight, and then there will be no more food eventually at any price, as cash will be worthless. And the people, they will be shocked. After all, our leaders promised us everything was under control, and they had control of this. When the truth, they had control of nothing but propaganda. Remember my dream of people pulling their mattresses outside because sleeping in their homes was just too hot? That is still coming as well. Everyone and everything turns against America, and even nature turns against America. Grotesque, cruel, gruesome pain and suffering is coming, something that the people are just not prepared for. I can tell you this, I can tell you what it will be. It will be indescribable, unimaginable, unbelievable, uncomprehendable, and unfathomable. And not just the blood, there will be bodies in the streets and no one to pick them up. The smell will be absolutely horrendous and no matter where you go, no matter what you do, wash your clothes, wash your body, you will not be able to get away from that smell. And eventually, after eating bugs, grass, bark, leaves, pets, rats, after all of that runs out, people will be left to eating people. To the point that it will become normal and acceptable. I saw, I saw much horror magnified by horror that words cannot express what I was shown. Famine, pestilence, war, earthquakes, tsunamis, volcanoes, terrible record-breaking heat. Power, outages, storms, hurricanes, tornadoes, much calamity, pain and suffering are coming to America. And it is coming because God showed it to me. I was called for this time right now to warn you of what is to come. America will collapse, America will be destroyed in one hour, and America will not, will not rise again. As America's Babylon, the Bible proclaims this to be so. And the Holy Spirit 
told me that this was so. This message is not all about doom and gloom, but about the saving grace of Jesus Christ. As this world collapses, Jesus is our only salvation, our only rescue from a dying world. Jesus now has his hand outstretched to you, calling you home, to the safety and peace that only God can give, as this world cannot give you peace, safety, salvation. Only God can give those things. And he will, but only if you come to him and admit that you are a sinner in need of a Savior, and repent sincerely and humbly of all your sins, and pray that Jesus enter into your heart and give you a new heart. Also pray the blood of Jesus washes over you and washes away all your sin, washes you clean, washes you white as snow. I was called by God for this time, for this time right now, to warn the people of what is to come. God called me watchman. I never called myself or named myself watchman. It was God who called me watchman. And at first I did not want this job. I prayed and I pleaded with God, not me, Lord. I cannot do what you ask. I am nothing. I am nobody. Who would listen to me, Lord? I cannot speak to people. I would stammer, stutter, misspeak, forget my words. But God reminded me that Moses was not a public speaker either, as he had a very bad stutter. So I was in good company. That was what I was told. But I still tried to tell God no. But then God gave me a wake-up call, and I thought that God almost killed me get my attention. When God calls you and God refuses your no answer, what can you do? Nothing. Now I am ashamed that I told God no. The one who spoke the whole universe into existence with words. The God of Israel. That God. Now I say, send me Lord. Now I, I may not be able to walk much, but I still say, send me Lord. My goal, my purpose, being here is to worship God and to do all that He asks. What is your goal? What is your purpose here? Would you be my legs and pass out King James Bibles in hospitals and doctor's office waiting rooms? And, or, or leave Bibles on DVD there as well. And you can also leave a small stack of Bibles on DVD in restaurants with a little stand-up card, which I will provide that says free King James Bibles please take one and these Bibles on DVD they are in plastic cases and they are being picked up they are being picked up by people and taken home as we have had to resupply several restaurants near us every week for the last three weeks uh, with new DVD Bibles also if the Holy Spirit puts it in your heart to support this ministry God's ministry then all we ask is that you be faithful to the Holy Spirit. Yes, bad times are coming. But if you are washed in the blood of Jesus and born again, you, you have this promise. And you have all that you need. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 9 For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. And there are other scriptures that state that we are not appointed to God's wrath. So, Pray up, repent often, be pleasing to God, as Jesus is coming soon to take his faithful home with him. And you do not want to miss that ride. Remember that what you say and what you do in these last days is so vitally important, more important than you, than you could ever know. And thank you for all that you do for God. And thank you for your prayers. And may God keep you. And may God bless you. And may, and may God's face shine down upon you and give you peace. With much love and more grace from above. Amen. Our time is short. Our time is short. These last, these last few days, we, need to, we all need to be pleasing to God. We all need to, to do a work for God. And, and placing Bibles in hospital and doctor's office waiting rooms, or pl placing Bibles on DVD, uh, in a restaurant near cash register. I mean, that, that's just a, such, such a simple and easy thing to do. Um, I, don't even, I don't even think about it. I, I just walk in with a stack of DVDs and I ask the person behind the cash register if I can leave a stack of Bibles. They're, they're free on DVD. And, uh, and, so I'll, and they always say yes. So many times they come around and, and they'll clear off a spot for me to set these Bibles on DVD. And uh, 
that, and we've had to go back to restaurants and, and resupply them. So people are picking them up. People are picking them up. I just pray that they take them home with it and that they use them in these last days. But keep in mind, pray hard, work hard, work for, do a work for God, and do it with, with all your might, and do it with a, with, a, with a prayer in your heart, because these are the last days. We need to be pleasing to God, and we need to give thanks to God for all of our blessings, for we all have blessings. No matter what our situation is, we all have blessings. If we draw air, we have a blessing. And if we have a beat of, of our heart, that's a blessing from God too. So God bless you. And God keep you in your safe is our prayer. And we pray that God holds you, keep you in his loving arms, just like he held me. Oh, Lord, just like he held me. Because I know, I know, that when we get to heaven, that Jesus will hold each and every one of us in his loving arms, just like he held me. Just like he held me. And I don't know how that works, but I do know that it works. I'll promise you that. And we will see you there on the streets of gold, beside the crystal sea. And we will jump and shout for joy and give all thanks and all praise to God, all glory to God. For only he is holy, righteous, and true. And his word, his word will stand forever. And that's this word. So we pray that you be faithful and pleasing to God in all things. God bless you and God keep you in your safe is our prayer.